Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in this video we're going to explore adding fonts, different fonts to your Bootstrap website. I've got a little basic site up here that I'm going to build a countdown with. In this video we're going to be using a free text editor called Brackets so you can download it from a link below this video. So here's what we've got at the moment. At the moment you can't see the writing very well so let's get that sorted out. Let's open our index.html page which is this page with our brackets text editor. Here's our index.html and if we scroll down here's our navbar with our links. Ours is actually at the bottom here. Here's our container with that text that you just saw in it. And all I'm going to do is give it the class of text light, which is a default bootstrap class. We'll save that, control S, back to the site. Now when I refresh, that text should become light. There we go, that's a lot easier to see. Okay, at the moment it's just using the default Bootstrap for text, um, which I've got a feeling is Helvetica on this, but it they've become very clever. Let's just select it. Yeah, if you look down here, it's using the Apple system on Apple devices and probably Safari. Um, we're probably using Helvetica here. Uh, Arial Sans Serif for fallback fonts. So it's pretty clever. It's good. The default font's going to load as to whatever the default is for the browser you're using for a various style. Okay, say we want we want to have a different font for our h1 tag there well if we look up here here's our h1 tag bootstrap starter template and let's perhaps give it a bolder font now to play safe there's many fonts out there um, to play safe you might want to go with some web fonts web safe font combinations just uh, google web safe safe fonts and it's going to give us a group here of, of fonts that you can use and the reason that they've got more than one name in them is that's used for fallback um, and fallback means if a particular browser or an operating system doesn't have that font it'll fall back to the next one so times new roman will fall back to times and then serif that's difference between serif fonts and sans serif fonts briefly is this is a serif font you see it's got those little tags on the T and on the bottom and on on most of the letters it's got those little sort of hang off bits that's a serif font um, sans serif kind of means without serif they don't it's just straight writing like this so say we want our heading to have one of these fonts I mean that's gonna make it a lot different right there so I'm gonna copy this impact fallback is charcoal and sans serif control C to copy now let's open our style sheet that we've created and let's go down now remember we're working with this h1 tag here so all we have to do say h1 open and close some curly brackets and in between we want to write font family font dash family colon and then put in what we just copied which is that impact okay save that control s now if we go back to our site and refresh then we should see our heading change to that font. So let's go back to our site 
here we go. Now when I refresh, this should change to the new font. There we go, it's that impact font. And of course you can do the same for any others. This is paragraph text here, so let's try that. and We can change that to a different font as well. Let's perhaps use something completely different with that. Uh, they got something cursive like Georgia. I'm sure they have. There's Georgia right there. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Back to our CSS style sheet. And this time we're working with our paragraph text, our P text. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Drop down one, P, open, curl, open and close some curly brackets. And again, font family. Prompted us there, so I'll use that and just paste that in there and put our semicolon afterwards in case we want to change, add some more code. Control S to save. Back to the site. Now, when I refresh, this should change from our default font here to that Georgia, which is a serif, so you should see the difference. There we go easy and you can add several different fonts to your site that way in fact we've got three going on there right now we've got the uh, impact on the top there we've got the georgia there and down here we've still got our default on our links right there so that's one way of doing it okay uh, another way of course would be if you want your whole site to have a different font than the 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 uh, default let's just go back and take that away We'll delete that back to our site and refresh and it should go back to the default there we go we're back to the default so you want everything that you're going to be using in this site to be one font your h1 2 3 4 5 6 tags your, your paragraph tags display tags everything links then simply let's select an, a different one Again, we want one that we can see. Let's try com Comic Sans. Just going to copy that. And let's go back to our style sheet. This time, if we want them all to do it, I'm going to put it in the body tag. If you haven't got one, just write body, open and close some curlies. Drop down. I'm going to say font family. Again, it's prompted us with the brackets here and I'm going to paste in what I just copied there put a semicolon in save it control s back to the site now when I refresh everything on here this the h tags the p tags and our links should all change that comic sans there we go and as you can see they've all changed so that's if you want to do the whole site, if you want to get it all done in one swoop. And of course, I'm just going to backstep a little bit and show you something that I should have showed you just now, is you can customize each font, well, size wise, and the actual boldness of it. So if I hit Control Z or Control Z, however you like to say it, let's go back to where we were. As long as you haven't closed the black brackets out, you can back step as, as far as you want to go. So there we go. Let's save it that. That's with our impact and our jo Georgia here. So if I quickly save that back to the site and refresh, it should go back to how it was just now with the impact and the Georgia. And of course we can style our headings to be any size we want don't think we can do much more with this I was going to tell you you can make it bold or light or what have you because I think that's bold by default some fonts 
allow you to go from 100 to 700 to make them heavier or fatter if you will and some don't some support that so let's say font size let's bring it up a bit let's try and spell that right because if you don't spell things right with CSS they will not work font size let's say 55 picks hope that's not too big for the screen um, no, I'm sure it would be fine and uh, let's save that control s there we go it's made that a bit larger not only will it do that to this one but any h1 tags that you use after this um, they'll do that as well and of course you can change the color as well if you want to this is going to look particularly nasty I'm just putting red in as an example I'm sure we'll get rid of this in a minute back to the site there you go now you've got a, a red title and uh, that looks kind of scary okay so I don't want that and, and with anything else you can keep styling it you can put drop shadow on I'm just gonna try something I don't think it'll work with this particular font but it may work with this one um, let's say font weight and 100 I don't think this will work with this particular font but we'll try it anyway and see what happens no that didn't do anything that's the default size for this let's try this with the Georgia let's just cut this control X to cut I'm just gonna go here I'm gonna add I'm just gonna copy this line I'm gonna drop it down I'm gonna paste it below but I'm gonna take away this class on this second line so it's just the default P class right there let's just save that just to see what I've done there let's go here and refresh there it is underneath so we're working with this because this has got the class of lead I want to demonstrate font weight and it's got its own weight so that won't affect it when we do the P class whereas this will so let's go back to our CSS now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that font family so it's the default font there I'm going to put in font weight and start off at 100 now 100 is the lightest or skinniest and it goes up to 7 or 800 and the highest ones are what you call bold or extra bold so let's save that control s and back to the site now this is going to change back to the default font both of these lines here uh, that's pretty skinny looking so if I inspect this with the browser I'm going to leave that one alone and here's our p tag here's the font weight let's drag this down so you can see it a little better here's our font weight of 100 see what this supports say 200 no nope try 500 okay and when we get to 500 you can see it's made it bolder Let's try 700 it's made it bolder still I don't think it'll go any bolder than that no but if I take that back to 100 back to its skinny self another way to do this is simply to write bold B O L D or bolder will make it slightly bigger bold will make it bold and as you can see that's made that bold as well so that's just a brief explanation of how to customize your fonts on your site here should you want to now I'm going to take that all away because don't really need it for what I've got in mind so I'm just going to take that all away save back to the site get rid of the Chrome inspector there this is Google Chrome 
and refresh it should go back to as it was there we go and let's get rid of that bit of text below there also to return to how we were simply hit the delete button there we are control s to save so there you have it that is how to stylize your fonts on your site using web safe fonts in the next video we'll explore google fonts importing google fonts i hope you found that useful if you have please like and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in web design take one of our web design courses below we've got some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers we've also got some great free courses down there so check it out once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.